The free agency is officially on the way, so once again, we do have some news in regards to a free agent signing with the San Francisco 49ers. Before I talk about Trent Sherfield here, uh, I went and looked. 91% of my views are not by subscribers. So if you've been listening to a few of my videos and, and you're not subscribed, please do. Like I always say, it costs you $0 to hit that subscribe button. Growing the platform, you're going to grow the brand. Growing the brand means we're going to get better guests and, and better personalities on here for you. And it's just not Leo 24-7. Um, as well as for any season update, go ahead and check out 49ersgoldmine.com. Once again, that is 49ersgoldmine.com. We're doing constant updates there on the website. Steph Sanchez is doing a great job at updating as soon as anything happens within the organization. So let's go ahead and look into it. Trent Sherfield, wide receiver, undrafted free agent, 25 years old out of Vanderbilt, spent three years with the Arizona Cardinals. In those three years, he had 28 receptions, 340 yards, and one touchdown. He was mainly a, a core special teamer. But as far as what he can provide, his 40-yard dash was a 4.45. In that 40, he got up to 18.38 miles per hour. Um, the guy is 6'1", over 200. So he has good size. And and I think when Mike Garofalo tweeted this out, he mentioned that he could fit a potential wide receiver three role that Kendrick Bourne uh, basically left vacant with his New England departure. As a core special teamer, Sherfield ranked sixth in the NFL last year in 2020 with three fumble recoveries. That's a lot for a guy that plays zero defense, only playing special teams. Uh, so it just shows that he's got a nose for the ball. He had over 200 special team snaps over the last two seasons. Well, two seasons in a row had 200 snaps in each season. Arizona chose not to tender him. Why they chose not to tender him? Probably because he would have costed around three and a half million dollars per year. Well, this year on a cap hit. That's why they didn't do it. They went inside JJ Watt, guys like AJ Green. Uh, so they spent a few money. And when you spend money like that outside of the organization, you're going to lose a guy like Trent Sherfield. Um, he, I do see him as a potential guy to make the roster before Raheem Mostert got his true running back role. A lot of Raheem Mostert was built on being a fantastic special teamer. So here's an opportunity for a guy like Sherfield to improve that special team coverage because last year in 2020, it, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty by any, any fathom. They, Raheem Mostert wasn't playing that gunner role. Mark Nazauchu wasn't out there on special teams coverage either, and he's a guy who's been a, a candidate for um, a Pro Bowl as a special teamer. Now he's not even on the team as he, as he was released earlier in this offseason. So Trent Sherfield expedites that in their coverage, whether it's kickoff or punt, and he's able to, at least on this one-year deal, he's able to teach rookies or, or other guys that are currently on the roster how to handle special teams in the NFL because it is very, very difficult. Former NFL uh, player Eric Crocker, I, he's talked about how special teams ain't no joke and, and it's very, very hard to get adjusted to. And Sheffield has done that at a very, very fine rate in his career he definitely found his niche so i'm interested to see how this works out uh, i i know he's gonna be good on special teams but i'm interested to see if he could provide some value at the wide receiver spot with his size being 6'1 over 200 pounds 445 40 um his three cone is under a seven which that's what shanahan wants all his receivers to be is under a seven uh, which is at 6.9 seconds. So we'll see what happens. It's one of those 
low risk, high reward ceilings if this guy does ball out and become a pro bowler as a special teamer. So let's see what happens. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, go to 49ersgoldmine.com and hit that subscribe.